continues. A piece of World War II history is making a stop in southeast Minnesota this week. This is part of a commemorative Air Force Air Power History Tour. KTTC's Sarah Gannon is live in our studio with a preview of what we can expect this week. Sarah. Well, Tom and Caitlin, the commemorative Air Force B-29, B-24 squadron is based in Dallas, Texas, and members of the organization volunteer their time to do these tours, many of which have some sort of family connection to that era. There are a challenge to fly. Uh, you know, we're looking at 1930s technology, and it's a very big aircraft, has very big controls. The, uh, the, uh, the controls for the pilots, they, they're big movements to make them work, and uh, sometimes it takes uh, a lot of muscle to fly the airplane. A small part of the World War II era is visiting Rochester. We have a, uh, one of two flying B-29s that are still left in the world. We also have the only flying B-24. And for any World War II or history enthusiast, they will know that those were very, very significant airplanes of the World War II era. Starting Wednesday, people will be able to tour the inside of Fifi, the B-29 Superfortress, and Diamond Lil, the B-24 Liberator, in addition to checking out two smaller training aircrafts that pilots would use back in the day. You could even pay to take a ride in one of the planes. Every passenger flight is a special experience for us. Um, I, I can pretty much say I remember just about all of them because it's the people that make this special. Hilbert says the mission of the commemorative Air Force is to honor the young men who flew these planes and the families who stayed behind and built the planes. They're in awe. They're, they're in total awe. You know, the, the best ones are the ones when we ask, do you have any connection to a military member in World War II? And we have had daughters of navigators sit at the table and fly the same chair that their fathers flew in. Uh, just to see them, see their expression. The World War II aircrafts will be on display to the public Wednesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Rochester General Aviation Airport. For more information, like on um, ticket costs and where to register to ride one of the bombers, we'll post a link to that on the web version of the story at KTTC.com. Caitlin, back to you. Sarah, thank you. An update to a